Hello and welcome to a Minecraft video. I'm Scudabuyu playing Vanilla Minecraft 1.8.7 PC Edition and this is a little bit of an update about my uh, video series about conquering an ocean monument. Uh, so uh, as you can see here, here's a fully conquered ocean monument. Uh, I had mentioned at the uh, end of one of the, uh, the last videos, I don't remember if it was the uh, time lapse or the retrospective about removing water from above the monument, uh, but I had mentioned that the next step for me would be to perform the entire process, um, the, uh, the strategy for killing the Elder Guardians and everything else, removing the water from inside and from above, uh, to perform the entire process in a uh, survival world. So I went ahead and I created a brand new survival world with a random seed, and then I just uh, started following the process, um, gathering materials, uh, uh, finding an ocean monument. Um, in the end, I think that uh, it took me about four Minecraft weeks to uh, find the ocean monument. Uh, I found four others in the process, but uh, this is the one that I chose to, uh, to attack. I uh, found the ocean monument and uh, gathered all the project materials. Um, uh, so that, that was about four weeks. Uh, and then it was another three Minecraft weeks, I think, uh, roughly there, uh, roughly three weeks, uh, in order to kill the Elder Guardians, build out the cover above the monument, and drain the entire monument. And all of the rest of the time uh, was removing the water from above the monument. That, that's just going to be a big task, uh, no matter what process you use. Um, uh, in the end, uh, the process that I had uh, took longer than I was hoping for, uh, but not quite as long as I feared. Um, uh, right now is uh, Minecraft Day 139, you can see there in the debug information. Uh, it's, um, I think it took me maybe about uh, 80 Minecraft days to remove all the water. Um, a good portion of that was AFKing sand dumping though. It, maybe 20 to 25 days was uh, AFKed. So uh, not too bad on the whole. Um, I, I, uh, I did follow the process pretty much to the letter. Uh, including all of the tweaks that I had mentioned in the two retrospective videos. Um, with the exception that I did not trim the cover to 64 by 64 until after I had located a sponge room. Uh, because, otherwise, because if I had not found a sponge room, I would have needed to go to a different monument, in which case trimming the cover just would have been wasted effort. Um, so, but that was, the only, uh, that was the only thing that I altered. Um, I, I, did, I was wearing armor throughout this entire thing, um, and that's just because I had found a whole bunch of cows that I decided to use as my food source. Um, and my, the statistics are, are not really uh, all that interesting. Um, you can see that I took a little bit more than 118 points of damage. Some of that was um, from falling, some of it was, um, uh, some of, uh, a lot of it was from guardians, uh, I, I, but I never took more than one hit at a time from guardians. So even though I was wearing armor, it was pretty much unnecessary. I, I um, and that's because I just never got uh, um, teamed up by a whole bunch of guardians at once, never really needed the armor. Um, but it, uh, but I was wearing it anyway. So, uh, yeah, not, not a whole lot here. You can see that that I only killed five guardians. I'm assuming those include the three guardians, and I think that there were two other guardians uh, that were in range of the explosives that I used on, on the elder guardians. Um, uh, that, um, uh, but I never actually engaged in combat directly, uh, um, at least not with any hostile mobs. Um, the, uh, I think that the, um, the one that caused me the most problem was actually an Enderman that appeared, uh, on the monument while I was finishing clearing the water from above, uh, and I had to use a bucket of water to get him to go away, but, um, other than that, um, uh, it would all pretty much went to, uh, according to plan. Some of the water tanks included a huge number of guardians in them, uh, and that's because uh, I spent the whole time basically on the monument and uh, the water tanks kind of in the center. I'm 
never really more than 32 blocks away from them, but I'm often more than 24 blocks away. So uh, new guardians would spawn towards the top of the tank, and then they'd sink down to the bottom, uh, uh, <laughs> and they just pool up there. And by the time I was getting ready to empty those tanks, there were there were um, uh, just a really a lot of a lot of guardians in some of them. I think one of them had nearly 20 guardians inside it. Uh, but um, uh, but on the whole, not too bad. Uh, I never really had to worry about how many guardians were in the tanks, uh, and that's just uh, because of the procedure that I used for emptying the tanks. Uh, the guardians really couldn't attack me, so uh, not really much else to say here. I I'm going to go ahead and include uh, a, a world download in the description in, place, in case you want to check um, my torch placement inside the monument or, or anything. Um, uh, but, um, yeah, this is, uh, this is pretty much exactly how I laid it out in uh, my video series. So, uh, just an update, um, uh, about, uh, following this process from end to end in the survival world, definitely doable, not really too much trouble. Um, but, uh, removing the water from above the monument does take a considerable amount of time, uh, just be forewarned. So, uh, I think that's it for this video then. Uh, thanks very much for watching, and as always, if you have any questions or suggestions, please leave a note in the comments.